What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and tonight we will be discussing the aspect in our natal birth chart, which is Mercury Square Pluto. So first, we're going to break down Mercury and what Mercury is all about. Mercury is about communication, reality, your mind, the way you speak, the way you learn, the way that you process information out into the world. So now, what is Pluto? Pluto is about death, transformation, hidden information, things being under the surface. It has to do with rage, control, and it also has to do with just being psychic and just regenerating, okay, yourself. So Pluto is a very dark planet. It is the darkest planet in our solar system. And Mercury is the fastest planet in our solar system. So do you know this aspect is about to be something else tonight? So now, let's jump right into this. Mercury square Pluto. So now Mercury square Pluto, men and women, these men and women... Um, have a brilliant mind. Their minds are amazing, okay? Um, they are the masters of thought. Um, these people can um, be scared of their mind. They can even doubt the things that they think about because they hold inside their mind so much um, intensity. Okay, this is like damn near plutonic energy because it, it is um, these people um, really want to get down to the depth of things they want to uncover they want to expose people for who the fuck they are they want to know your truth they want to know who you really are deep down inside so these are very well the type of people that will ask you a question and they really want um, the honest answer. They don't want you to lie to them. They don't like fake shit. They love real shit. They can handle the truth. A lot of times people can't handle the truth. <laughs> people cannot handle the truth. But these individuals, they can handle the truth and they prefer it. At all costs. Because if you don't tell them the truth, what they do is go into an investigative mode now they're seeking out to pick your mind and they know how to get into your mind very well oh my god mm. they are the type of people that can look at the way that your body moves when you speak the way that you went like this when you was having a conversation when normally you wouldn't even have did that they look at body language like no other to pinpoint the whole energy and the whole vibe. Now, very early in life, these women and men dealt with um, somebody trying to structure them, somebody to trying to control their mind, um, setting a uh, norm for them. And they were supposed to follow that. So now, these people grow up and they feel like they need to break free of that mind frame, okay? Because I'm telling you, people were trying to tell you how to think, how to feel, how to move, how to go in this way. Don't go that way. Do this. Don't do that. Very early on in life. And this could be um, your parents. It could have been whoever was your caretaker. And even maybe just people around you could have just been down with this whole norm shit, okay? But something in these men and women minds um, had them question and be very skeptical about uh, their movements, what they were saying. They were very inquisitive, very um, questioning about uh, hidden motives, about um, people's agendas, just out in the world in general. 
Oh my God, these people. Mm. These people do have an excellent memory. They remember a lot. So they can very well remember um, conversations that you had, um, things that are connected to the past, things that went on and took place. They can remember how it sounded, the way that they felt, the way that you looked. They can um, fully have this damn picture in their mind on how this evening went or how this day was. <laughs> these are these men and women. Also with this placement, Mercury, square Pluto. These people at some point in their life, uh, they will come to some kind of realization that they feel like uh, they are crazy. They feel like they're going crazy. And people may even, nine times out of ten, think that these people are crazy. Because when these people speak, it's a tone to them. It's something about the power in their voice, the energy, the way they look. They look so serious. You would think these people, when they get upset, you would think these people are out of control, possessed demonic you would think these people are just um really off the damn hook because what it is is they're serious about their minds they're serious about how they feel when they're communicating out into the world communicating to friends loved ones whoever it is they want to be as honest and as direct as possible Okay, so now their tones can be more elevated. Okay, and like I said, it can definitely uh, shock the fuck out of people. People will be amazed. People will be like shutting the fuck up. But you will still have people that still be talking. Okay, people will still go back and forth with these people. But to go back and forth with them, sometimes feelings can get hurt. Sometimes people can be disappointed. Sometimes people will be annoyed and aggravated and agitated because these people know how to um, trigger things in people, in their minds, in their soul. They know how to draw out the um, dark side of somebody's nature. They know how to pull out somebody's hidden intent without the person even knowing that's exactly what they are doing and set out to want to do because that's what they want they want to know your rawest self your roar is nature they want it to be pulled out to the fucking forefront they don't want you to be hiding no and if they get a thought and they think this is what the shit is they is they is on it they are going to find out out whatever it is they need to know this is just how these people are okay it's just what it is these men and women want to um they want to understand your mind but they really want to understand their mind also okay so in this lifetime these people are going to be able to master their own minds like i said earlier they can go back and forth and be um, confused on their thoughts. Their views can change at times. Um, at one point in time, they can feel like this. They can feel like that and think like this and think like that. And then if they are proven to think otherwise, then this is when it will change. But now this is where it will be made up when it has been proven. Okay, if it's not proven and they already was thinking this and this was their belief, that is just it. Okay, these people are something else. This is my placement, Mercury square Pluto. So anytime that you have a square in between two planets, that means that this is going to be a difficult aspect to deal with. Okay, I don't want to call it... Um, unbearable because God doesn't put anything on you that you cannot bear so but it will be difficult all right and it's just an obstacle but you can uh recover from it learn from it and be okay so 
Mercury, square Pluto. Women and men, they are very much very deep thinkers. Deep women and men could be writers, okay? They could be counselors, therapists, even into psychology and psychologists. Um, it's something about the human mind that intrigues them. These people are interested in knowing what's going on, obtaining knowledge, information. They really know how to sit back and analyze a situation. They know how to solve problems. They know how to pick them apart. They know how to put them back together. They know how to look, and they know how to do this with people. Okay? They know how to get to the bitter fucking core of the fucking matter. Okay? They know how to get to the fucking source. So with them, it's like, I need you to be real with me. Okay? And this is what they want. They want you to be as real as you could be because they are going to be as real as they can be. Don't get it twisted because these men and women can get into um, being manipulative sometimes. Okay? They can do this shit, especially when they want to know what they want to know. They can um, really start getting in your mind then. And, and you're not going to be able to figure them out. Their movements can be very much unpredictable in nature. Okay? So, once you think you thought you knew who they was, or once you thought that this is how this was going to play out, you're going to be surprised that shit ain't going to go that way. Because these people have a different kind of perspective on how things is about to go. They know their selves. Now, early on in life, they really didn't know. And this is exactly why I said that um, they're going to become masters in this area. Early on in life, they were pretty much told how things were going to go. They were told how to um, be a certain kind of way. All right? So, they really struggled with uh, how they are, what they should think, how they should feel, how they should be, when they should speak, when they shouldn't speak. See? It was very hard for them to express whatever it is was going on with them because it wasn't um, right in the light of whoever it was around them, raising them, um, structuring them. Okay, whoever was around them pretty much really wanted to brainwash their minds into how they wanted them to think and how they wanted them to view things out into the world. But then when they became adults, when they become adults, they took on a different approach because now they see things for what they are and nobody needs to tell them what they should do and how they should move. And as a matter of fact, that shit is not well welcome in their adult life. Telling them how they're going to be, telling them what they should think and how they should move. These people ain't with that. And you will be getting into a full-blown argument with these people. And I'm telling you, these people are very much um, aggressive These people are aggressive in nature, okay, mentally, and it could become physically, all right, if you don't watch it. So you got to be careful with these people because these people do hold inside of them um, a full-blown damn rage, okay, that can be out of this world and almost otherworldly. Just got to be careful. Also... With this placement, men and women, they are very much raw and very thorough in their speech, okay? These people are about that shit. They are about that life. They are who they say that they are. And this is why when they are dealing with people, they want people to show them who they are. But, like, these people can really peep out shit. They can peep out things in the scenery. They are very psychic in nature. This placement is very psychic. But now, even though it's very psychic, these people do have a tendency to um, overthink things. 
Okay, they're, they're very much overthinkers and even obsessive in their thought process. So, they really do need to um, take the time out to um, meditate and regroup because they can um, assume shit to be sometimes what they are not, okay? Looking too much into what is being said, all right? How you said it and all of that type of shit. But still in all, they are very psychic people. They are very much in tune with energy, body language, um, just anything. I mean, they can speak and they can make your body just fucking move a whole damn way. Like, and this is where they're going to peep you out. This is where they're going to know, like, you ain't authentic. You ain't real. You fucking lying. You fake. You know, this is where they're going to start doing that. And please don't get it twisted because these people can very well um, expose you in front of people too. It, it doesn't have to be just a one-on-one -on -one situation. They can do this shit where... It's a group of people, you wasn't expecting a storm, and here goes the storm tonight. These are these type of people. Yes, they will. They will say some shit that you didn't think they was even going to pop up. You probably forgot about the shit they even said until they said it. These are these type of people. Um, also, with this placement, these men and women, early on in life, people wanted to um, control them. Wanted them to move a certain kind of way. And these men and women question every uh, single thing. All right? It's just what it is. What else can I say about this placement? They're very much on the lookout for people that are out to get them. Okay? They're very suspicious, cautious. So they very much look out for enemies hidden enemies okay schemers scammers manipulators people with hidden motives hidden agendas okay somebody that got tricks up their sleeves these people uh look for these things and it can creep up on them these things can pop up in these people minds when they least expect it but once they get that inclination in their mind that this is what they think is up, they on that shit. And they're going to find out. Listen, these people know how to get down to the bottom of some shit. So they could very well be detectives because they will do their research, do their homework, do the math, okay? Get on that type of level to find out what it is they need to find out about whatever the situation is because they don't like being lied to. They like people to just keep it fucking real. Lying to them is going to definitely uh, break their trust within you. If you are in their circle, pff, they ain't looking at you the same way. And I'm going to tell you right now, mm -mm. no, because now you are suspect, okay, in, in your movements. Your movements are suspect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't really trust you, so I got to fall back from you. I can't really be around you like that. You know what I'm saying? And these are the type of people that can very well come out their mouth and say this shit. And this is why these people can get into um, some other kind of situations because everybody can't take their mouth. Um, these are very well the type of people that can um, speak things into existence. They can speak it right out their damn mouth. You know how they say it's power in the tongue? But then you have people that say words ain't nothing. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words won't hurt me. Shit, that's a damn lie. Because this placement, these men and women, they can hurt you with their fucking words. Okay, they can even become very verbally abusive. And, like I said, this placement can become very fucking violent. And these people will even be um, scared of their own mind and the way that they think and the things that may happen and take place and jump off. They can really um, 
not want that, but they know where they could go. They know that this shit could go a whole different route, and you don't want this work. You don't want this problem. This is how these people think. <laughs> this is how these people think. Oh, my God. Ooh, I do have this placement. I know somebody else with this placement. And I'm sure I know other people with this placement that I don't even know their birthdays to even look their shit up. Okay? Or just don't even have the full um, information that I need to be able to go into debt with them. But I'm telling you, this shit is for real. They have a unique, brilliant, master mind. Their mind... Um, can intrigue people. People can be very much amazed by their thought process and, and just the shit that they um, hold in their fucking minds. Mm. These people can also take full enjoyment in exposing somebody, especially the dark sky, uh, the dark side to somebody. These people love that shit. Okay, these people love to dig deep. They love to get down to the bottom of shit. Okay, is there anything else I need to say about this placement? Okay, these people have very good instincts. Okay, they um, can spot out a bad situation a mile away, all right, so, um, they could enter a room, okay, and peep out the scenery, and feel like this, something's going on here, or some shit is up, um, somebody can be having a conversation, they could all just be in a group setting, having a conversation, talking, and they can peep out, uh, when people are real, and when people are fake, they know, who people really are, even if they don't even know these people, okay? This is some other shit. They can really uh, enter your mind in a uh, subtle way without you even knowing this is what they're doing. But they can also piss you off in a, um unusual way. That you also don't even know that they're doing. You're not even aware that these people are doing what they're doing. They have a way with words to just um, pull out. Okay, you know how sometimes people just say things and they throw words at you just in a conversation. But these people do it when they want to know something. They do it on purpose. And you don't know that they're doing it on purpose. You think it's a regular conversation. No, it's not a regular conversation. Bitch, you about to be exposed. I'm about to expose your ass today. In front of me. It don't even have to be in front of people. In front of me, you about to expose yourself. If somebody was cheating. Okay? These are the type of people that will egg shit on, egg shit on, egg shit on until you be like, fuck it, I cheated on you. I don't give a fuck. You know, da 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 You did this back in the day. These are these people that will do that shit because people, it's like they, um, they hit a nerve in somebody. They hit something in your soul, into your mind, and it activates in a certain kind of way that you lose control. You blurt shit out, and now they got your number. They got your whole damn address, and they about to pull up. They know. They got it. They got it. They got what they wanted, and they can take full, uh, full enjoyment in knowing that this is what they was thinking the whole time. This is what they already knew. They were just waiting for the time and the moment for you to just let it out, out your mouth. You see what I'm saying? Because they've been peeping it out the whole damn time anyway. But you, they want you to bring it out. They want you to say it. They want you to do it. Now, of course, sometimes people won't just say shit. Okay? But like I said, they're very good. And people shit out, and they're very fucking psychic. So, they be knowing shit. All right? That, that's all I got to say. Anything else I got to say about this placement? Um, their words can definitely hurt people. Okay? Uh, relationship, friendships, or family. 
um, a lot of times early on in their life, um, a lot of things were kept secret from them. A lot of things were hidden from them. And later on, they found out uh, family secrets, friend secrets, okay, um, just secrets maybe even on a job. These people are consistently, constantly surrounded by hidden shit, secrets, and things not being said. Things that should have been said that were not being said, okay? Like I said, their parents could have very well. Just not revealed a lot of information to them. Um, it could have been very well that their parents were just trying to protect them or trying to protect themselves. However it goes, these are the type of people that um, can uncover secrets. Okay? So, when you're trying to keep one, um, anybody can come up to them. Um, an uncle could come up to them and tell them some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A aunt, a, a, another homegirl, another homeboy. Somebody's going to open up a can of worms, and now these people are going to address the situation at hand. These are these people. They're direct, like, oh, what about this? And they're looking at you so serious, and they they serious as hell, but they shocking you. You know, they're surprising you. You're not prepared. You're not equipped. You're not able for you're not ready for the conversation. These people are ready for that shit. Now, these people don't like confrontation, but they prepare for the war, okay? Because if they address you and they step up to you, you see what I'm saying? They don't like confrontation. They just want to say what the fuck they got to say and get the shit over and done with. But now everybody doesn't like that blunt, direct nature. So people feel very much, um, you know, drawn back by this, you know, and sometimes people feel like they have to defend themselves, but these people are ready for that, okay, because with them, they feel like, huh, you don't want these problems, you don't want this work, because I ain't playing with you, you see what I'm saying, these people are not playing with you, they just not, okay, so, uh, with this placement, I will say that, um, these people do need to, um, not so much overthink, um, because they do have a tendency to do that. They also are the type of people that can, um, be thinking so much, even just be to the point where they can't even get sleep. It's hard for them to sleep. They may have to go to work in the morning, and they just can't seem to get some damn rest. And when they do, they still tired. They can be mentally drained because they absorb so much information. You know, um, these are the type of people that can probably wake up in the morning and just get the fuck up and just start moving around. Instead of just waking up, sitting there for a second, fully wake up. No, these people are fucking waking up, going to the bathroom. You see what I'm saying? Just doing everything all at once because their minds is just always going. Their minds are consistently moving, all right? But these people do have a unique beautiful, brilliant, intense mind, okay? And it's very interesting. It's very intriguing. Um, highly intelligent men and women you are, okay? And just please know that. So I'm going to end this video on that note. So please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell every single time so you keep getting notifications. If you haven't checked out my online store, please be sure to do so at www.grimygear.com. If you need a caterer, you can hit me up. I am the chef goddess also at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. If you need my husband to do any work to your home, business, or swimming pool, he got you. So, you can hit him up at ronnesbit 90 at gmail.com. His business is Steve's Handy Helpers. If you need a birth chart, I got you. If you need a synastry chart, composite chart, I got you. So, the birth chart, the natal birth chart will be $70. If you need the compatibility chart, it will be $90. I will have everything in the description below. If you need that information, hit me up. 
All right. So this has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening. Love is love, peace and blessings to you all. I'm going to see y'all in the next one.